This workout is now available on Amazon Prime Video and Roku TV. Hey guys, welcome to your booty bar cardio workout. It's gonna be leg focused, butt focused, and a little heart rate. We're gonna start with a warm up. Bring your arms to first position. You'll step your right leg back, step onto your left leg, and then draw your right leg to a passe. We go back, front, passe. It's a little weight shift. Back, front, passe. We're gonna pick this up and add a little hop. If that's not appropriate for you, you'll stay right here, but the pace will lift up. We go back, front, and hop. Back, front, and hop. Good, really spring off your foot that's on the floor. Try to point those toes. You get high off that ground if this is a good option for you and you're hopping. Otherwise, keep that foot planted on the floor. Back, front, and passe hop. Good. We're gonna go four more, and then we're gonna turn this passe out to the side wall. For three, and two, last one. Now as you draw your leg to passe, turn it out. Ball change, passe hop, passe hop. Okay, we're gonna warm those muscles up and then we're gonna burn them out. And we're gonna go six more for six. And five. For four. And three. And two. And one. Take it to an attitude kick. Ball change. Attitude kick. Back front. If you're adding that hop, let's take it now. As the attitude sweeps forward, hop it up. Spring off that supporting foot on the floor. That attitude. Knee is bent. Heel is turning towards the ceiling. And we'll go for five. And four. For three. And two. Last one. Ball change, bot ma kick. Ball change, straight leg sweep. Ball change, straight leg kick. Ball change, straight leg kick. Adding the hop right now. Ball change and kick. Back front and kick. Let that leg sweep up off the ground. Try to keep it straight in the air. Four more. And three. For two. And one. Now we're gonna go side. Ball change, side kick. Ball change, bat ma. Adding the hop. Bat ma kick. And a ball change. Spring up high, getting that heart rate up. And let's go for six. And five. Then we're gonna repeat it all on the other leg. Last three. And two. And one, switching sides. You'll step your left leg back, right leg forward, passe. Left leg back, right leg, passe. Starting in parallel, let's pick it up, add that hop. Ball change, weight goes back and front. Keep those elbows lifted. The static hold starts to burn those shoulders out. Good, passe, hop. And we're here for six. And five, for four, and three, last two, and one, turn it out. We go back, front, turn out, back, front, turn out, add the hop, ball change, passe, toe to knee, keeping the knee of that left leg turning out to the side wall, and you've got six, and four, for three, two, and one, attitude, ball change, attitude. Back front, little lift. It's a kick of the leg to the front with a soft bend in the knee and a pointed toe. Let's pick it up, adding that hop in here. Keep those elbows lifted. When those arms get tired, those elbows start to droop. Lift those guys on up. And you've got six. And five, for four, and three, Two, and one. Back, front, bat, ma. Back, front, kick with a pointed toe and a straight leg. Adding that hop in here. Sweep and kick. Ball change and kick. Back, front, and kick. And we got six. Only one more after this to the side. Final four, and three, for two, and one. Now we go ball change side, kick, bat, ma. Ball change. Kick that ma. Try to keep that leg straight as you kick it up. Let's finish here for six. Back front and kick. Back front and hop. Last four. And final three. For two and one. Sautés. Feet will start in parallel. Arms are in first. Soft into the knees and you jump up. Point your toes. 
Keep your legs glued together. Jump off the floor. Think of that inner thigh connection as you jump up. Roll through the feet, toe ball heel. As you land, no flat foot landings to protect those knees. Taking it to a first position, toes and knees turn out. Jump up, squeeze the legs together, land in a plie. And jump. And lift, heart rate's lifting. Let's pick it up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide second, arms and legs open. Bend the knees, jump up. Tall spine, continuing our sautés. Land in a plie, jump with straight legs. Spring off the ground, use that plie to lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet in fifth position, right leg in front. Legs are crossed, arms in first. Bend the knees, jump up. Every time landing in that soft bend of the knees to protect those guys. Six more, then change your front leg. And four, three, two, and one. Left leg front, and we got 10. Final six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arabesque, stretch the arms out, turn left, reach your right leg straight back behind you, soften into the left knee. Jump up, jump up, jump up. Six, and five, for four, strong core. Last two, and one. Other side, arms reach out, turn right, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, saute jump. These are our saute arabesques. But a lot of work for that one supporting leg. Six more, six, and five, for four, and three, for two, and one. Nicely done, that was the warm up. We're gonna start to burn those legs out. Feet in first, take a big inhale, and a deep exhale. One more like that, big inhale, and a big exhale. Hands to the hips, small first position, toes aren't too far apart, and then you'll lift your heels up to a hover. Squeeze your heels together, keep them connected. Bend the knees, keeping your spine straight, and then stretch the legs, stand tall. Modification, heels down and up. Advanced high heels, not messing around. Of course, at any time you can bring your hand to a wall or a chair for extra balance. But squeeze those glutes and inner thighs as you straighten your legs. And press your big toes firmly into the floor. That'll help with that balance. Good, bend and lift. Shoulders down the back, heels tightly glued. Bend and lift. Good, last one like this. Bend the knees, get low and lift. Now we're gonna bend the knees and stay low. And we're gonna circle our hips to the right. Circle your hips all the way around the world. Can you get a little lower? Bend those knees a little deeper. Lift those heels a little higher. Good, as your hips scoop forward, draw your belly button to your spine. Good, we got four and three for two and one. Let's reverse to the right. Circle those hips. Uh, can you lift those heels a little higher for me? Strengthen the arches of our feet. Add four. Add three. For two. Add one. Stretch the legs. Lift the heels high. Glue them together. Bend the knees. Get low. Step your right leg forward in front of your left. We pulse down for four. Three. Two. One. Step the right foot back behind you. Pulse down for four. Three, two, one. To the front we pulse for four, three. Start to quiver, two, one. Step it back, pulse it down, four, three. Get low, two, one. And we go front for four, three, two, one. To the back for four, three, two, one. Feet to first, left leg forward, pulse it down and down. Tall spine, step it back. Pulse for four, three, two, and one. Give me three more, guys. Get lower, lift those heels higher. We're almost there. I'm burning two. And last two. Take it to the back, pulse for four, 
three, two, one, final one. This is supposed to hurt. Get lower. Four, three, push yourself. Two, one to the back. Get low. Four, three, two, one. First position and lower those heels. Let's go for a quad stretch. Plant your left foot. Draw your right heel to your tush and pull it in. Scoop the hips forward and up. Release that leg. And let's switch sides. Pull your left heel to your butt. Pull it in. Opening up the front of that thigh. Wipe the sweat off. Oh, there's more. And release. Okay, hands to the hips. Feet come to a wide second position. Bend the knees deeply. Turn to your right. Pivot your legs. Bend the knee into a lunge. Come center, bend the knees. Turn left. Coming into a lunge, bend the knees. Center plie, right lunge. Center plie, left lunge. You're turning away from your back leg and that's the foot that's pivoting on the ground. When you're in the lunge position, your toes and knees should point directly forward towards the wall in front of you. Make sure that the heel stays highly lifted behind you when you're in the lunge position. Good, cat low. If you don't feel the burn, you're not challenging yourself enough. Sink into it. Your already's here, you might as well do it. Good, let's do two more like this. Good, last one. Good, we're gonna pause here to the right. Hands behind your head. Pull your left knee to your chest and pull it up and up for three, two, one. Step your right knee back behind you, pulse down. Three, two, one. Pull your back knee to your chest. Exhale, lift around the spine. Three, two, one. Step it back, sink it low. Get that back knee almost touching the floor. Pulse up for three and pulse down for three. Exhale, lift, belly button to spine, standing crunch. And step it back. Pull it in, use that exhale, and step it back. Okay, let's do two more. Last one, pull it up, exhale, three, two, one, step it back. Pulse down, three, two, one. Pivot to center, pivot left. We've got the left, pull the back knee to the chest, curl it in, three, two, one, step it back, get low, pulse it down at your lowest point for three. Pull it up, curl it in for three, step it back, get lower for three. Good, around the spine, pull the knee to the chest, step that foot back and get low. When you're in your lunge, make sure that your front knee stays back over the ankle and is not going forward over those toes to protect that knee joint. And relax the shoulders away from the ears. Let's do three more. Exhale, lift three. And pulse it down for three. Final two reps. Exhale, lift three. Step it back for three. This is our last one right here. Pull your knee to your chest. Pulse for three, two, one. Step it back. Pulse for three, two, one. Center, hands to your hips with a smile. We're going for those lunges again. Turn to your left, bend your knees, come center. Other way, lunge and center, finding that rhythm again. Lunge, plie, and lunge. Tall chest, lunge, plie, and lunge. Keep that up. Good, the quicker we move, the more we get cardio out of this. That's kind of nice, right? It's more fun than being on a treadmill or an elliptical for 40 minutes. <laughs> I know because I do that sometimes. <laughs> Couple more, let it burn. Make sure you're getting to your lowest point. Okay, last one. Now we're gonna turn it over to the right. Knee low behind you, hands behind your head. Lift and lower your left heel. Goes up and down, front heel goes up and down. And up and down, this one should burn. Three more, three, and two. Heel stays high on one, pulse it down for 10, nine, eight, seven, tall lifted chest, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heel, arms to first, lower the back knee.
stand up onto your front leg, extend your back leg, lift it up, squeeze your butt, come back down into your kneeling lunge. Stand up, kick your back leg, squeeze your butt, and a kneeling lunge. Stand tall, point those back toes, make sure that back leg is straight. Thinking of a ballerina, long, extended limbs, a little booty work right here. Gotta get that booty shelf. Thinking of right where your hamstring and your butt attach, squeezing into it. And let's do four. <laughs> Lift it up for three. The final two, guys. And last one. Find your lunge. Hands behind your head, come center. Turn it over, lunge it down. Front heel lifts and lowers. This is when we find that shake. Let it shake, that's a good thing. Good, for six, drop it low. And five, four, three, two. Heel stays up and now we go down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, with a smile, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your front heel, rest your back knee, arms to first. Coming up to standing on your front leg, lift your back leg up with a pointed toe, come back to kneeling. Stand tall, both legs straighten, kick your back leg up as you squeeze your glute. There's a slight turnout of my back leg. This is working everything, core and posture. Good. Every time your back leg lifts, squeeze that tush. A couple more here. Make sure you're breathing through this. And let's go six more. Six. And five. For four. And three. For two. And last one. Beautiful job. Shake it out. We got two more positions left. We're gonna burn that butt out now, as if we haven't already. <laughs> Soften up the knees, let's bring our hands to our hips. We'll reach your left leg straight out to the left. Have your knee and toes pointing forward. So now we're in a parallel position. You'll lift, lift, squeeze. Two lifts, we go lift, lift, squeeze. Working that abductor, that outer hip. We lift and lift. Belly button is in. Good, squeeze and squeeze. Make sure that this movement is not coming from your spine. And it's not a kick of the leg, it's a squeeze of that hip muscle. So we're working without any momentum here. Good, lift and lift. Let's do two more. And last one, we're gonna single it out, just lift and lift. A little quicker, but no kicking. Squeeze to lift, squeeze to lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg back to the left diagonal, knee and toes are turned out. Lift and lift. Two lifts, we go up and up, lower down, squeeze and squeeze, up and up. Continue that right here. Maintain that soft bend of your supporting knee. Let's squeeze and squeeze, lift and lift. Let's do four more and three. That's two and that's one. We're singling it out, up and up, up and up on this side back diagonal. 10, 9, 8, 7, reach through the toes, keep the legs straight for 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bringing it straight back behind you, knee faces forward, we're parallel, we go up and up. Squeeze and squeeze, lift and lift, up and up. Strong core, when you're lifting your leg up, especially to the back, make sure your low back is not doing an extra back bend here. That means you're bringing momentum in and you're not lifting from your butt, you're lifting from your back. Risking getting your low back injured and we don't want that here, we want a butt. Okay, now single it out, we go up and up for 10. And that's eight, seven, keep it quick. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs, plant the left foot, soften of the knee. Reach the right leg out to the right. Point the toes, it's parallel. We lift and lift. Squeeze and squeeze. Outer hip muscle, should already feel it because it was already supporting us. Lift and lift. Squeeze and squeeze. Okay, this is great for your saddlebags, your obliques. 
shaping your thighs. Numerous benefits. <laughs> and we go lift and lift. Squeeze and squeeze. Toe and knee points forward. Lift and lift. Let's do two more. We're gonna single it out. Last one. Take it to singles. We go up and up and up. Let's go 10. Right back up each time. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch that leg back to the right diagonal. Knee and toes turned out, and we lift and lift. Squeeze and squeeze. If this balance is too much for you, of course, bring your hand to a bar, but know that it's okay to be a little shaky. It's good to put yourself in a place that is hard to maintain. That's how we strengthen ourselves. Lift and lift. Pinch your butt muscle on the way up. We go up and up. Squeeze and squeeze. Last one, we're gonna take it to single. Straight up and up and up. And you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Straight leg, pointed toes. Four, three, two, one. Leg goes straight back behind you, knee and toes point forward. Doubles, we go up and up. Lift and lift. Strong core, shoulders down. And lift and lift. Supporting leg is working, you better believe it. Lift and lift. And squeeze and squeeze. Roll your right inner thigh to the back wall. That'll help keep this leg in parallel. Good, let's do two more. We're sailing it out. This is our last one, we go 10. And lift, squeeze to lift, keep that leg straight. Eight, seven, push through it, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, guys, we're taking it to the mat. We're gonna go down to an all fours position. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Slightly tuck the hips. Extend your right leg straight back behind you. Turn the right knee out to the side wall. Lift it up. Lower the leg, lift the leg, soften the knee, extend the leg. Lower, lift, soften, extend. Lower, lift, soften, extend. Now as I'm doing that small bend of my knee, it's not a large range of motion. I'm not going for a big bend here. Lower, lift, soften, extend. Belly tight. And you should pretty quickly start to feel that side glute. Have four parts, lower, lift, soften, extend. Let's do two more, lower, lift, Soften, extend, last one. Lower, lift, soften, extend, flex the foot. Bend the right knee wide towards the right shoulder. Extend it back behind you. Lower and lift. Bend deeply towards the right shoulder. Extend it back behind you. Squeeze your glute. Lower, lift and squeeze. Bend wide, extend back. Lower and lift. Bend, stretch, lower and squeeze. Bend, stretch, lower and lift to squeeze. Let's do three more. Final two. Last one. Lower, lift. Bend the leg to an attitude, toe is pointed. Squeeze the leg in toward your body and then lift it up. Squeeze in, lift up. You're squeezing the leg towards the wall behind you. Squeeze in, lift up. As you're lifting up, you're pressing your outer thigh towards the ceiling, turning the leg out more. Squeeze in, lift up. Leg should be a shivering. And we got 10. Squeeze in, lift up. That's nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four. Give me a little more, lift it high. Last two, and last one. Take that down, lean into that right hip, and we're gonna turn it around. Last move, guys, let's do this. So we're gonna be on all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Just swing that hair around. And core tight, slight scoop of the hips. Extend your left leg straight back behind you. Pointed toe, turn the knee out to the side wall. Lower the leg, lift the leg, soften the knee, straighten the knee. Lower, lift, soften, extend. Lower, lift, soften, extend. 
four parts. We go up, down, little bend, and full extend. Lower, left, soften, and extend. Work to keep your, your hips and shoulders squared to the ground as much as you can here. Think about that squeeze in that outer left hip. Lower, lift, squeeze, soften, and reach. And let's go six. Lower, lift, soften, and reach. And final four. And last three. So small these moves, but so effective. <laughs> this is our last one. Lower, lift, soften, and reach. Flex the foot, bend the left knee wide towards the left shoulder. Stretch it back behind you. Squeeze your tush, lower the leg, and lift the leg. We go wide bend, full extend, lower, and lift. Wide bend, and reach, lower, and lift to squeeze. Bend, stretch, lower, lift. Big bend, full stretch, lower, and lift. Keep the turn out of the toes and knee. Make sure they point to that side wall. A couple more guys. You know it's almost over and then we're gonna stretch it out. Getting to that burn zone. Let's do four more. And last three. For two. Last one right here. Lift, lower, and now we're going to bend the knee into an attitude. Turn the knee out, point the toes. Lift up, squeeze in. Lift up, inner thigh squeeze. Think of your inner thigh squeezing together, like you're poking your toe over towards the wall behind you. Lift up with your outer thigh, squeeze in with your inner thigh. This is our finisher. So lift that leg a little higher, get a little stronger in your upper body, let everything shake and work, because you're almost through it. Let's do 10 more, and nine. You've got eight, and seven, final six, and five, for four, and three, and last two, and last one. Woo, good work, sink into that left hip. Okay guys, come on up to kneeling. I say we deserve a stretch. Let's reach your right leg straight forward first. Flex the foot, pull the right hip back, roll the left hip forward. You can stay upright, modification, hands to the thigh, keep your back long. If you're more flexible, hands to the floor and stretch your chest forward. Okay, take a deep breath in. If you're ready to fold, you'll start to melt your upper body over your right leg. Good, you've made it to the cool down, so enjoy. Roll it up, take your right leg across your body to the left. You're gonna to wanna to pull the right hip back in space again and reach the hands over to the right, long spine. This is for that IT band. The band runs all the way up the side of the leg and attaches into the glute area and this just gets really tight on us. And then you'll come back to center, up to kneeling, stretch your left leg out in front of you, flex your foot, square your hips, pull the left hip back. You can stay upright if you're already feeling it. Hands to the thigh. The next level would be putting books or blocks underneath your hands if you need a little bit of height or fingertips to the floor. Stretch the spine forward. Much better to be higher with a flat back than lower with a rounded spine. You'll get a lot more flexibility out of it. And then lean into the leg, drawing your nose towards your knee. Good, and then you're gonna lift it up. You'll take your left leg across your body to the right. Pull this left hip back in space so both of your hips are squared forward. And then take your hands over to the left and reach your chest over to the left diagonal. Straight spine rather than being rounded. Reach your chest forward. Now make sure this left hip is pulling back and going down towards the floor. We don't want the hip hiking up. Just tips to get deeper into these stretches. And one more moment here. Okay, let's walk this leg back in and let's take a seat. Okay, we're gonna take one deep glute stretch. So you'll bend your right knee, your right heel will pull close to your right knee, point straight forward, and then cross the left leg over top of it so that both knees point to the front of the room. Flex the feet, sit nice and tall. Okay, this might be plenty for you. You can bring your fingertips behind you and lift your chest. If you wanna go deeper, you'll bring your hands forward and lean into this stretch. 
Now you might be in a place where this is too intense for you and it's totally fine if your leg is a little higher and you stay upright. That's a great option as well. And one more moment here. These are important to do after all that butt work. <laughs> and then roll it up. Okay, let's switch the cross of the legs. Bend the left knee, knee points forward, cross the right leg over top of it. Walk that right foot to the right so that both knees point to the front of the room. Fingertips behind you and lift the spine up. Flex the feet. Good, it's very normal for one side to be more of a stretch than the other. And so maybe if folding into this one isn't right, that's okay, you can stay upright as well. You don't have to do the same thing on each side. But if you are inclined, lean into the stretch. And then let's roll it up, uncross those legs. And nice work, you killed it. Got some cardio, got some butt work. Thanks for joining me. This was Cardio Booty Bar.